What is up guys? Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Now I realize I haven't done a video in a while, and that's because I was sorting out school and all that stuff, but I'm back with another video, and I have my computer up here because I've had trouble uploading videos lately. Um, uh, since this video probably won't be that long, I'm just going to kind of explain what's been going on. So, basically what's been happening is, at first, when I uploaded a certain uh, one of the videos, it said something like, metadata not saved, could not save information, or something like that. And then after that, it was fine. And... Now I feel, I'm pretty sure if this keeps going on, I'll have to always go on my computer to save the video because uh, I have the mobile YouTube app um, because I upload videos on my phone now. And I also have the mobile YouTube studio app. And when I go in to like add the video to pl my playlist or add tags or add the thumbnail, I sometimes... Well, always lately, it's been that I can't do the, click on the save button, or I can't, like, press the save button. So I've had to go on my computer and save all my progress and email the thumbnail to um, that, you know, to my computer. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what's been happening. Um... I'm going to open up this uh, coin lot from eBay that I got for my birthday. And I'm using a Coke bottle to hold my camera up. Hopefully this works. And hopefully... Hopefully I don't have to finish doing it on my phone. There you go. I'm, I dumped all of it out. Well, I dumped it out. There's a second bag in here. Alright, so... I see some coins in here. Some more coins. Alright, so... There's a washer. Can't tell if that's... No, that's a coin. I can't tell what that is. If I had my microscope on me, I could, uh, find out what that is, but I have no idea. It's a coin. It's not a washer. And then some foreign coins. This one's a, uh, drachma coin. This one looks like it's from Japan. Um, and then we just have some modern clad coinage here. I'll set that aside. We also have some copper pennies here. Set those aside as well. And then... Um, we have this one. 1983. 25 pesetas. There you go. Here's another. Piastres. 1952. This one looks... Republic of Lebanese. I'm not sure exactly what that one is. This one looks like it's like aluminum. But it's from 1952. It's also a Lebanese coin. This one, 1954, Republica of Italiana. So that's Italy. This one also feels aluminum. Uh, here we have... Uh, I'm not sure where the, these two are from, but, yeah. And then, here's a, uh, this one's a weird shape. I'm guessing maybe West, in West Africa? I'm not sure, but this one, this one I still can't identify. It looks old, but I don't know. This one also is aluminum. 1954. This one looks Greek. So it probably is like Greek. Um, we have an Indian head penny. 
1909, actually. So that's um, also the same year they first minted the wheat pennies. So, there you go. There's an India penny. This looks like a gold coin. I hope it's not fake. This looks like even less than one gram. That's a really cool gold. It's a little teeny gold coin. I'm probably going to flip that up, actually. Um, if I remember correctly. I put my flip somewhere. Anyway, guys, I'll be back. Okay, I got some flips. In case I want to flip any of these coins up. So I have those ready to go. Looks like we have a, a wheat penny here. Whoa, guys. That's a 1909 VDB. Okay, I expected that to be old, but I didn't expect it to be that old. Let me, get, let me get this coin out. Yeah, 1909 VDB. Wow, that one's the best condition VDB I own now. It's a really nice coin. You can even see the full wheat stock lines. It is a VDB. 1909. That's a really nice coin. We'll definitely be setting that aside. I need to... I probably need to take a look, closer look at this coin. It might be silver. I'm not sure, but... I'll take a look at it. And, and I'll try to find a good date on it. So. And then we have two war nickels. 1943P and a 1945D, which I believe I don't have either of those coins in my book. A Jefferson nickel book. This one also is a weird shape. It looks like it's like Egyptian. But yeah, we got some war nickels. 1945D and a 1943P. We can check that for the um is that a cud? No, it doesn't look like it. You can check check that for the 43 over 42 double die obverse. And then we can also check that for the doubled eye. It doesn't look like it has either of those. But we got some war nickels. 1945D. Wow, that's those are really cool. So let me just check something. I'm just I'm gonna take. I'll take one of these clad dimes. You know, that could be silver. I'm not sure. That's, I'm, I'm happy with this gold coin, though. This is probably at least worth ten bucks. Well, okay, so, that's a lot. Um, it's not many coins, but we did get some awesome, awesome finds. So, I am going to get some flips for some of these. So I have some flips ready. Um, I don't, I don't, um, I don't really, uh, like, 
I don't, well, most people, they, um, they staple their flips, their coins in the flips, but I don't, because I'm lazy, and I don't have a stapler up here, so, I'm just gonna tape these. We're going to see. Okay. Where's my scissors? Okay, guys, I'll be back. All right, guys, I got some of the coins that I found flipped up, and I'll show you what I got. So, what we have here, we have some foreign coins. Some of them look like they're made out of aluminum, and then others are made out of just other materials. So... These three feel aluminum. This one is, looks like it's from Mexico. Uh, this one is, it says it's from 1954. But I've heard from other YouTubers that they actually aren't from 1954. And then we have this one, which looks like it's from Japan. I'm not entirely sure on where this is from then these two which i believe are from egypt or india possibly one of those um, but they're square and they have some writing on the back and then we have this one which is from 1952 it's from a place called Lib Libanese. One of those, yeah, one this one, one this aluminum coin. It looks like that one's also from Libanese. But yeah, there you go. This one has a reeded edge. Um, this one does two, and then this one does. And then onto the American stuff. We have. We have pretty much, these are just clad. It's, there are a few copper pennies mixed in, but those are pretty much just clad coins. Um, no silver there. But for the other American coins, we got two war nickels. And I believe both of these I need for my book. I mean, I'm not sure. I need to check my book, and I'll check it at the end. But the, we have a 1943 P. War nickel. And then we have one which I'm for sure need. I don't have any of the uh, of the D mint mark war nickels, so I mean I might, but see again I don't know, so I need to check. Um, this one's a 1945 D, so I'll check on that one. And then for the best of the bunch, um, we have this one here which I can't identify. I don't know where it's from. I know it's not a washer, because if you can see, there's some writing. I'm not... Well, it looks like it says, like, five centimes. It might be silver. I'm not sure. But I need to check up on that. Uh, there's this uh, app that I have on my phone called Coinoscope. And I can look that up on there. So I'm going to check that out. And then I'm going to check these barnacles out and see... You know, if they go in my book. But the two best finds, um, we have this unassuming looking wheat penny. It looks unassuming at first. Um, and I was in a bag, so I didn't know it was this old. But it's a 1909 VDB. I don't know if you guys can see. But that's a 1909. And if you look on the back, 
See that little thing, those little letters down there? That's the B VDB. This is the best uh, 1909 VDB that I have now. And if I can ever get the coins out of my books, I'll upgrade this to this one. So, the other one I found in a wheat penny roll. So, the, well, the VDB, the other VDB that I found. Um, and then the last coin is a gold coin, actually. This is my very first gold coin. Um, I probably should weigh this up just in case, but it looks like it's made by the U.S. Mint. So, I'm pretty sure this is real. So, anyway, um... If you guys have any thoughts, just comment down below. I always lo sorry, a lot loud cars are just going by. I'm in my room, so uh, the window is right there. I get a good view of the neighborhood. But, you know, um if you guys have any comments, I love when people comment on my videos. It's awesome. And it know I know that they watch the video, so that's awesome when people comment. I always love that. So, comment down below your thoughts on all my videos pretty much. So, yeah, that's my, it looks like my very first gold coin. It doesn't even look like a one-tenth ounce. It, it looks like even less than a gram. So I'm guessing this is worth like 10 bucks. Maybe, maybe 15. I'm not sure. But, you know. Um, and when I go down, I'm going to check and see, um... I'm going to check and see what this 1909 is worth. So, and then I'll, um, I'll include all the information down in the description. So, I'm going to check on all that stuff when I'm done. So, I, I'm, I know the only thing I, I'm sure I don't need to check up on is this gold coin. I'm pretty sure this is gold. Especially because in the title, it talked about gold coin. So I'm assuming that this is the gold coin that came in the lot. So I don't I don't know if I need to check on the, that, but I might just to be sure. Um and then this one, which I'm gonna use Coinoscope. It's an app I have on my phone. And I'm also going to look up the value of this. And yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, anyway, um, I guess I'll, uh, s um, see you guys later, and I have some birthday presents that I, uh, haven't opened completely, so I, I mean, you saw me open them in my birthday video, but I'm going to kind of do a more in-depth video on some of those, so stay tuned for those, um, I have a vintage pencil lot that I got, that I'm going to be going through, and there is a really cool pencil in there that I saw, um, on the, on the edge of the, it was like a big pack of pencils, so, yeah, that's awesome, but anyway, um, that is it for the video, and I'll see you guys later, peace, hopefully this uploads.